Hi guys, it's Adrian here. Welcome back to Alternate. It's podcast week again already. If anyone's following me on Instagram or member of the Facebook group Men Who Knit, you'll know that I received some packages this week in the mail um, of yarn and that I've been super excited to open them and I don't normally go for the delayed gratification so I had to exercise a lot of self-control to not open these and have a peek beforehand. So I'm gonna unbox them for you today and show you what I've got. I'm not doing full reviews of the yarn because I will be doing those in separate videos. So I'm just gonna have a chat about why I got them and the projects that I'm going to knit. Actually, I only really know the one project that I'm gonna knit, um, but I'll show you now. So let's do the credit thing and I'll see you soon. Okay guys, welcome back. Um, I'm gonna open this one first, and I think if you saw this um, on Instagram, I'll show you the photo here, you probably saw the Nice and Knit logo. You guys know that I love this brand, I've spoken about them a couple of times, and I just really wanted to show you guys some different colorways as well. Um, I've knit two projects in this, both of them were baby blankets, so I've gotten to know the yarn really well, and I feel confident that I can do a pretty good review for you guys, but that will be coming out, as I said, in a few weeks time, but I just wanted to have a look at this today and now um, the girls at Nice and Knit, they're uh, two sisters from Connecticut in the US. They've been so sweet to me and they have wound the skeins um, of yarn into, into cakes because I don't have a ball winder and doing it by hand kind of scares the bejesus out of me. So they've sent them in cakes previously but I did ask them specifically to send them um, as is for this one so that I can show you guys how they come in the skein. So let's go have a look. Now you're going to see my really terrible um, unpackaging skills. I love buying things on the internet, it's so much fun. I remember there was a time when it was like such a dangerous thing to buy stuff from the internet because people were going to steal your credit card details or send you a horse's head or something crazy. But this is how everyone shops now, so I love it. I love buying it and then waiting for the... Wait, I guess I am into delayed gratification. It's so much fun to receive these packages. Okay, what have we got in here? I'm having a look first. As always, we have a nice and knit sticker, and this one's really cute. It says, be happy knit. I haven't put these on anything yet, but I'm getting a collection of them. So I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with them. All right. Here's the first skein. This is so nice. This is fingering weight yarn, and it's in the colorway Oyster. It's it's really beautiful. It's sort of, it's actually, it's a little bit different to what I was expecting, but sort of still within that same color family. I've dropped the other one. Um, it is a, obviously it's a gray, you can see that, but it sort of has like a greenish tinge to it. Very, very, very slight. Kind of like a, oh, I'm terrible at um, describing colors. Beautiful. So I don't actually have anything in mind for this, this yarn, but, um, what have we got here? 490 yards of 100% superwash merino wool, um, eight stitches per inch is the gauge. I'm gonna find a project to knit with this. It is unraveling a little bit right now. I also got in the fingering um, weight category, this one here, which is gorgeous, and it is the colorway Dockside. If you go to Nice and Knit on Instagram, they're just at Nice and Knit. Um, or niceandknit.com, their website, you'll see a lot of stuff with the Dockside colorway in it and it's absolutely gorgeous. They've got some great patterns on the website as well. They are mainly for women and for children um, or for the home, but, <laughs> but they're great, so check them out. I'm really excited to use this. So here it is guys, the Nice and Knit yarn in the fingering um, size Dockside and Oyster. Not sure what I'm going to do with these, but there's heaps of possibilities, so they're great. They go together well. They do go together well. Okay, so we've got package number two. For those of you who were paying attention on Instagram, trying to figure out where this yarn was coming from, you might have seen the Brooklyn Tweed and the BT in the Wild hashtags. Uh, it is from Brooklyn Tweed, it's my first shipment for them, so I'm really excited to see um, what it's like. I've read a lot of reviews and I'm a little bit scared about the um, reported fragility of this yarn. It seems to sort of break fairly easily, and it has me wondering, am I a very tight knitter? Uh, do I hold a lot of tension in my hands? We'll see when we cast on with this stuff. So let's open it up. Now, I, I 
the project that I um, have got this for is actually a Brooklyn Tweed project and it's a, it's a jumper or a, they actually call it like a shirt, but it's the Redford by Julie Hoover and it's an amazing sort of classic retro looking shirt and it has expressed seams, which means that rather than, you know, using the mattress stitch to sort of get it nice and almost seamless looking, the, 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 the seam is going to pop up so you'll be able to see the express seam. I'm actually not sure if I'm going to leave that detail in or if I'm going to get rid of it because it does have textured panels and I, I'm not sure how that's going to look, um, but I'll, I'll decide later. It's for my partner Reese, so I guess he has a say in it too. So I did actually get quite a bit of this yarn and I've asked them if they could wind it into cakes and typically it comes in a, in a twisted skein just like you saw with the nicer knit yarn. So. Did they get back to you whether they did this? No, this one is boxed up tight. It's just good, it's good sturdy packaging. I, when I um, purchased a bigger lot of nicer knit yarns, the, it did come in a box as well. Wow, this is incredible. It looks as though, I'm gonna show you guys here, hopefully stuff is not gonna fall out. It looks as though I've got a free pattern that's been included with this shipment, which is, which is awesome. So you can see that, let's have a look here. This is gorgeous. We'd like to thank you for your recent purchase and for supporting the domestic textile industry in the USA. Whether you have purchased patterns or yarn, we hope our products are to your liking. Any positive feedback or review would be greatly appreciated. However, if you experience otherwise or are in need of support, please feel free to contact us with any questions or concerns. All the very best, the Brooklyn Tweed team. That's really sweet. That's a really nice touch. I really like that. And what is this? A free gift for you. Thank you for your continued support. I don't know if they think I'm a returning customer or not, but that's really sweet. Okay, wow. Guys, this is incredible. I haven't got a free pattern. I've got, I've been given four free patterns. This, this is actually great. So I'll show you these patterns in turn. This one is called the Keaton. This one is called Blueprint. Uh, wait, Blueprint, oh, for Ticking Cow, sorry. This one is Raven's Foot. And this one is Carpino. Honestly, this is a really, really good first impression for a company. Um, I'm really stoked. The uh, Redford is probably the third Brooklyn Tweed pattern that I have, um, that I've purchased via Ravelry and the website before. I find that, I mean, obviously not every pattern is from Jared Flood, who is the you know founder of Brooklyn Tweed, but he seems to curate a really cohesive group of designers who have all got sort of contemporary and very minimal design aesthetic, which is what I love. And I find myself constantly going back to Brooklyn Tweed to get inspiration. Um, and this is the first time that I'm gonna be using their yarn. So I'm really excited. All right, so I did request um, on, on ordering that it be wound into cakes and it hasn't been. Um, I do have one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I have six skeins of yarn. I did order 12. I'm not sure what's going on there. Maybe there's more to come. It says it's all been delivered. I might need to get in contact with them. Um, maybe the order has been sort of a little bit mixed up. And so it says here, quantity eight of the loft in the color cast iron, which this definitely is the color cast iron. But if you count, there are six skeins of yarn in this bag. So I don't know what's happened with shipping, but I'll, I'll get in contact with customer service and let them know, and I'm sure they'll, they'll send the remainder out. Um, I don't need my scissors for this because it's just in a, like a Ziploc bag, which is great. So let's have a look at this. Wow, the feel of this yarn is incredible. I'll show you, I'll show you in the skein now. This is, this is not a Merino yarn. This is a Targi Columbia, um, yarn, which means that it is, there are components of softness like merino fibers, but there's also um, coarse wool in here as well, which gives it a really rustic feel. And going on the Brooklyn Tweed website, there's actually quite a lot of information about how this yarn actually gets from sheep to the skein. Uh, so you can kind of appreciate the texture of it a lot more once, that you, once you know the story and how there's been like a minimal processing ethos to this. So the colorway is amazing and it's pretty much exactly as I was expecting. It looks like a 
you know, charcoal gray, blackish color with um, tweedy flecks of, of medium gray and white. So that's really cool. I, um, I'm really concerned about the, the reports that this breaks easily, but we'll have to see when winding it, which I'm going to have to do by hand. <laughs> Okay guys, so that's it. That's the Brooklyn Tweed Loft, which is a two ply fingering weight yarn, 100% um, wool and the Nice and Knit also fingering 100% wool, both very different textures, both beautiful quality yarns from what I can tell. I'll have to check back with you on this one when I've used it a bit more. You know, this is not the kind of stuff that I can find around here. So I'm really grateful to be able to, uh, you know, buy things online. And that's why I think, uh, you know, online reviews are really important so we can, you know, get together, tell each other how these things um, work up how you feel, you know, they're, if they're worth the money or, or, or whatever, which is, you know, there's a lot of reviews for Brooklyn Tweed um, Loft and, and the other different sort of um, yarn weights that they sell. There isn't a lot for Nice and Knit, which I find astounding because it's such a great quality um, yarn. It's a great product, but I'll be doing um, a, a review of that in the coming weeks. So thanks for joining me for my first unboxing, first of many hopefully, because it's super fun and I love getting new things. Uh, so stay tuned for more progress on particularly the loft uh, with the Redford pattern and to see what I end up doing with this wonderful Nice and Knit. Thank you to Brooklyn Tweed and Nice and Knit, obviously not a sponsored video, but both great products. Thanks guys, see you next week, bye.